Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rizzo Smoke and welcome to another tutorial. So today we're going to be looking at a Java type beat. So let's get started. We're going to start with the chord progression of this song. So um, I realized that I took out the main part of the chord progression of the song, which was made of roads. So it was roads uh, layered with this sound, but uh, you're going to get the idea either way. So this is the chord progression. And then with the roads. Alright, I think I just need to turn off one or two sounds here because it's clipping. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Alright, that, that's like the chord progression, the main part main meat of the song main meat main cause the main cause of the song <laughs> all right and then the next thing that comes in on the song so is this guitar melody piece let's find it uh this is the guitar i need to drop it I sometimes change the pitch of the song, right? So I have to activate this. So that is it, right? Yeah, and that's another thing. If you you don't like uh, the song where it's playing, sometimes you come up with the chord progression, right? And you're trying to find around sounds and it doesn't make sense, you know, or you, you you just don't feel the vibe of the beat that you're making. One of the tricks that I use is just change the pitch. I change the pitch, maybe bring it down four times or three times or uh, take it up a little bit. It, it, it might change and trigger something in your mind, a melody or whatever. to actually deactivate uh, this amplitude it's a little bit heavy all right the other thing that comes in here is this rim sound with this uh, rise uh, shake sound sound that brings us into like the beginning of our song right so it's this piece right here so you can do little melodies like this just to bring your song in right so is that with the amplitude that i turned off because you know uh, it's a little bit heavy and it's affecting our tutorial here right so that is it So we get into the song so on the song this is a very uh simple beat let's start with the bass so this is our bass for the song so basically it just follows the chord progression of the song and then for the snare parts where usually there's a snare i used the guitar to create that it's it's a it's a trick that you can use it's it's useful you know it makes your song a little bit rich so 
so I play uh, just a, a little bit of the piece of the chord progression. If you look at this, this is like the chord progression of the song, right? So I play uh, the guitar on the spot of the snare using the chord progression. I hope it makes sense because it doesn't make sense right now when I think about it in my head. But um, let me just repeat it. So these uh, sounds, they follow the chord progression. This is what the chord progression is playing right at the time. So they follow the chord progression. So I play this piece of the guitar right when the snare should be on the snare part, right? And let me just turn on the ample, uh, amplitude here. So amplitude is um, it's a guitar effect plugin. right yeah so so basically that, that that's what it is i play the chord progression on the snare parts so it might sound a little bit heavy because i layer it with another piece here and then what i did with this one is i turned it all the way down right so if you listen to this one it's uh an octave lower hear that just makes it a little bit heavier and realistic for me so i liked it look at the drums so we have basic drums we have a kick all right conga here right so these are the drums very simple and then we also have a little bit of a snare here a little bit of a snare all right and then here uh, the high heads come in and I also layer the snare with another snare, right? Right. So that is not a lot of sounds, right? It's very few sounds, but whenever you put a beat together, you just have to make sure that the sounds make sense together. That's the most important thing. The sounds make sense together. You don't have to put a lot. Uh, you just have to make sure that whatever sound that you put in there is necessary. If you take it out, you take something out of the beat. Because some sounds that we usually use they don't add any value to the beat if you take it out the beat is as good as it was gonna be actually it's better because now that sound is not distracting anymore like as you can see here there's a sound there are sounds like these sounds that i turned off right it's one of those things where you make a beat and uh when you listen to them back you're kind of like no i don't like this i don't like this um so you just turn it off and it's not part of the beat so you have to make sure that you also catch when something's not working you know whenever you listen to a beat and it's flowing and then a certain sound come in and then it just it, it triggers something in you or it feels wrong it's probably wrong so you just need to take it out uh yeah guys that's the tutorial um it's a very simple uh chord progression and then you do a little bit of a guitar melody 
uh, and then there's like uh, the, the 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 bass line that follows uh, our chord progression, and then there's that guitar snare type vibe thing, and uh, yeah, the, that's that's the beat. Actually, it's not a call. It's not called the guitar <laughs> snare vibe thing. It's called the riff. It's a riff. It's a guitar riff. But you know, yeah, whatever, man. Who cares about the terminology? Anyway, thanks you for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next video. Tell me what you think of the tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Uh, yeah, peace.